this story here is about me and my homeboy. He didn't really get out in the streets that much. He hung out in the suburbs. So, it was just one particular club that was in the hood. And he wanted to go. And I wanted to go too. So he was like, I'm going to pick you up around 9 o'clock. So at this time in my life, I was 100% pimp. I used to watch pimp movies every day. I dressed like a pimp and everything. Talk like a pimp, walk like a pimp, everything. So I had on navy blue. I had on a pimp shirt. And I stole one of my daddy's navy blue dive hats with the feathers sticking out. You couldn't tell me nothing this night. So, my homeboy picked me up, right? We driving. We get in the hood, right? Now, it's a it's a little crackhead standing in the middle of the street trying to flag everybody down. So, this right here fascinates him. I see it all the time, but it fascinates him. So, he like, man, Let's stop and mess with her. So I'm like, man, for what? So he just wanted to get a little experience, I guess. So she done flagged us down. And she said, baby, oh, oh yeah, baby, I just moved over here. I ain't been away too long. I don't really know nobody. I'm just trying to get a bump. I'm just trying to do something. What you trying to do? So, you know, he said, well, let me pull over here. So she said, oh. I live right here in these apartments, so uh, just pull up in here, park in the back, and you can come inside. So, now I know that these apartments is where a lot of stuff go down, but I said, okay, well, this is what you want to do, this is what we going to do. So, now he tell me, we going to go inside, and I'm going to tell you where the stuff is at in the car, even though it ain't no stuff, I'm going to act like there's some stuff in the car. And I need you to go out there and start some time. And um, during the time that you out there, I'm going to be trying to do what I can do. I said, okay. So now, the first thing he did, he, he pulled there frontwards. Now, I don't never park frontwards. I, I like to back in just so I got to pull out real quick. So he done pulled in on the right side of the door. So we go inside. She's like, oh, excuse, excuse my place. I ain't really got that much furniture. I just moved in. Now, she had a, probably like a 13-inch TV and a two-seater couch. That was all she had. So, I'm like, oh, man, I ain't sitting out on this damn couch. So, my homeboy, like, hey, uh, go out to the car and get the stuff that said, you know, Look by the blue apartment, and you know, so you gotta move a couple things around, and you're gonna see it. So I'm like, Yeah, okay. So I get the keys. First thing I do, I back the car up on the other side, and I'm just sitting there listening to some music. I'm still, I'm drinking right, right now. So about 10 minutes later, I go back inside, and I'm like, Man. Where you say it was, because I can't find it. You're like, man, go look under the thing, you know. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, okay. So I know at this point, I'm not even going back inside. So like I said, I parked on the left, but I backed up. So I never told him that I moved the car. So I'm going to say probably about five minutes later, this guy runs out. Now, he runs out and he notices the car isn't where the car used to be. And he had on a hat. So, he turned so quick and went the other direction that his hat fell off. So, next thing I know, he runs to the car. He dives through the passenger side window and says, take off, take off. So, I'm like, oh, what the hell's going on? But I take off. So I look, I see two guys come running out, two or three guys. So I'm like, man, calm down. Tell me what happened. He's like, man, I'm in there, right? Now we sitting on that little two-seater couch, 
He's like, man, I, I got I got my finger inside of her. He's like, man, I pulled my finger out and everything. It's bloody. I'm like, oh, my goodness. He said, so I see out the periphery, I see the closet move. I said, the closet? And he's like, what's in the closet? She said, oh, ain't nothing in the closet, baby. So at the, at the time, this man is trying to get a confession from this lady. So next thing you know, he say, he pull it out and he trying to get her to bow her head and he sees something again out the closet, out his peripheral. So he say, he stand up and start walking towards the closet and as he opens up the closet, a hand grabs him. He said, there's two or three little crackheads in the closet. He said, so he pushed the, pushed the one that was in the front and he fell and fell over the other two and he ran out the door, and that's when he came outside and dove in the car. He said, the crackheads was trying to rob him, and I told him, that's what you get. I told you about messing around with the mess arounds. So, we end up going to the little club we were supposed to be going to, and we end up having a ball. So, ever since then, he didn't want to mess around with those crackheads no more.